Do you feel like this part of your life, where's Ricky Williams at? You, you're doing your podcast and you're doing it your way. Uh, you, you, you're, you're allowing yourself to just be you. Is this the happiest you've been? By far, by far. And the, the great part is, you know, as long as my health stays, you know, stays on track, it's just it's just getting better. It's just moving more in this in this trajectory. And I feel like, you know, all the grimy hard work I did at, at a young age is, is really paying off now because it was hard. But I know who I am now and I trust and I trust myself. And so I have this confidence that anything that life life brings to me that I, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to make the, the, the best out of it. You're an amazing example for anybody who's struggling to figure out who they are. Can you just take a second and give some words of advice or or some encouragement to someone who may feel misunderstood? Because you you're you're a rare example. Uh, you're high profile. Many people know your story. Many people know your name. But there's a lot of people who. It, they feel misunderstood and they do it in silence. They're anonymous. No one knows their name. And because of that, they feel as though I might not matter. I might, my existence might not matter. Can you speak to someone out there who's struggling because they don't necessarily buy into to, to the norms? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the first thing is, is that, that I learned is God don't make junk, right? And so the first thing I had to learn was there's nothing wrong with me. OK, regardless of what everybody is saying, there is nothing wrong with me. OK, that was, that was the first thing that I had to that I had to, to realize and, and come to terms with. And that was hard because, again, so many messages from pe people that cared about me, sometimes not overt, subtle, but that there's something wrong with me. And so first I had to I had to come to that term that God don't make no junk. There's nothing wrong with me. And then the second thing is something my mom always used to say. She would say, go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. And and so. You know, and it's hard, especially coming out of COVID, of, to connect and find like-minded individuals. But the thing is, you know, in order to bolster ourselves up, we need to find people that can see us and can appreciate us. Okay, but in order to do that, we have to have the courage to put ourselves out there and to be ourselves. And so it's it's this thing of first, you know, realizing there's nothing wrong with you. Don't be ashamed to put yourself out there, and people that don't get you, realize they're not your people, and notice the ones that 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 vibe with what you're putting out there. Because, you know, the truth is, you know, it's a jungle out there. And, uh, and, and, you know, we have to face challenges squarely and bravely in order to have any kind of emotional, financial, you know, relationship success. That's the truth. Great words of advice. Um, and it comes from a place of experience, obviously. You, you have had an incredible journey. Ricky, I thank you so much um, for your candor. I thank you so much for attacking every question head on. Um, you know, coming into this interview, you, you, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but I find you to be extremely um, open and outgoing with your answers. So thank you. And, um, you know, your podcast, best of luck with it. I think it's, I think it's, in, it's an incredible concept and we all need to go and check that out. Where can people, again, find you in the podcast? Because I just want to plug it again before we close out. Yeah, so iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, I'm on Instagram at, at Williams. Yeah, I got at Williams somehow. And, you know, I hang around on Twitter sometimes at Rick DeLaureate. Uh, so that's where you can find me. Also, I'm launching a new app uh, this summer. Uh, you can check, check us out on the website. It's called HeyLila.com is the website. The app is Lila, and it's a relationship app. So an app that helps you understand yourself and other people using astrology. Do you mind spelling Leela? L I L A. Um, just so that we can look out for it. Yeah, L I L A. Ricky. Yes. Thank you very much, and continue success and blessings, my brother. Thank you.